when you're working on a web series, uh, we are dealing with a whole lot of characters and their graphs. You have to be very sure about uh, about how you want to pitch the story and where you want your audiences to start feeling for the characters and start leaving them at a place where they want to see more. Uh, the button is in your hand. So whether you want to stop it or whether you want to forward it or you want to skip is in your hand. So that is very scary. Honestly, did not think that I can play such a character. Somebody would even offer it to me. Every creator, every actor is put in a box sometimes. You choose a story to say like two years back and does it still feel relevant for you to say it two years later? Hi everyone, welcome to The Quint. Hello. So I'll start with you Ashwini. Uh, the the show deals with love uh, relationships and also the discrepancies between desires and expectations. You know, off late we have seen shows explore similar themes rooted in reality. How do you think your show stands out? Uh, I think our show stands out because uh, uh, we have not seen, we have of course seen shows rooted in reality, but uh, we have not seen shows which is a love story and uh, which is a love story which uh, which uh, which talks about characters and how the characters take the story forward and how we invest in the characters and how the characters um, uh, are someone who uh, give a reality check to uh, to the younger generation of our country. So having helmed like this is your first show having helmed films before What's the difference between shooting a show versus a movie? Is one medium more challenging than the other? Absolutely. Uh, I do feel that when you are um, uh, telling a story for a theatrical or for a two and a half hour feature film, um, it is uh, about uh, lesser number of characters and a lot of other things which are involved, uh, which, which would be uh, you know, the song, the interval point, if you're doing it for a theatrical, if you're doing it for an OTT platform, then also it is about this two hour, two hour, 10 minutes, two hour, two, 15 minutes. But when you're working on a web series, uh, we are dealing with a whole lot of characters and their graphs. And every episode uh, has a cliffhanger and which moves on to the next episode. So that itself is, is like a, um, it's a plot point inside a plot point And uh, you have to be very sure about, uh, about how you want to pitch the story and where you want your audiences to start feeling for the characters and start leaving them at a place where they want to see more. That's why you have seasons and that's why you have episodes where they would only put one episode a week is because you just are so curious to know what happens next. And that's why there is binge watching is because you are enticing an audience to go into, uh, to relate with the characters, to relate with the plot and move on. Uh, the other thing which is very important and which actually challenges us as makers is that uh, you have the ability as an audience and a viewer to have uh, the button is in your hand. So whether you want to stop it or whether you want to forward it or you want to skip is in your hand. So that is very scary is because you have to be super sure about what you're trying to say and how you're saying it. Because in a theater, you don't have the opportunity to just like, you know, leave. Yeah. You can, but usually you complete a film, but in a... And when you're on an OTT and when you're watching, especially a web series, you can just go forward. But the most amazing thing is that you get to work with different artists, different characters, different actors across uh, various uh, uh, backgrounds. We follow a lot of, uh, um, you know, not, if one thing works, then people start following that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so uh, when Bareli Ki Barfi was made, then everyone was like, you know, kind of making yeah. that kind of films. Uh, and I'm happy is because um, uh, you get to see so much of more of our country than just few places and few, uh, uh, a few uh, stories which could have been told. But now we are telling stories from across the country. And when you say rootedness, and I think there's no better time for storytellers to tell stories from every part of our country, from every corner where there is a story which needs to be told. Pavel, coming to you, how different is this character from like the other characters you have played? Oh, you're watching. But uh, I've... Uh, one thing is different because I... I, I 
honestly did not think that I can play such a character or somebody would even offer it to me. Every creator, every actor is put in a box sometimes. Hmm. It's not easy to envision that this person could also play something else. So I think that was the biggest challenge for me to become this character and she was helpful and uh, helpful matlab she's held my hand and uh, you know taken me there it's uh, going to be very very yes. different from the parts that i've played like somebody else said uh, uh, before before this interview says you played very dry cleaned uh, <laughs> roles <laughs> so yani coming to you in one of your interviews you had mentioned how taken you have been with all the strong women characters that ashwini has created so if you if we could come to your character in faru what is the biggest take away that you as a person experienced after the show from your character so i think manjri is someone who is very similar to who i am but who is someone who i've learned a lot from as well mm. I feel that she has very clear boundaries about her right and wrong, and that for me was my biggest takeaway from Manjri. Abhilash, uh, something about your character which you would like to mention, and also the experience working in this show. Uh, we have shot in all the live locations, so it was not that we created a slum and you know we were shooting there. We were yeah. shooting in real slum areas. So as they they mentioned, you know, they were real life lessons, so to speak, because there are certain places. you detest you don't want to go there you know you don't uh, see yourself being a part of it hmm. the uh, and there are multiple worlds like that you know wo aisa nahi hai ki sirf slums ki baat karu bahut agar aap you come from middle class background to aap bahut apne aap ko ameer logon ke beech mein nahi dekh pate you don't belong there you know so is the case when you are shooting in a basti you don't belong there to do teen din ka yaar jo experience tha that has changed all of us i think स्टार्टिंग के दो तीन दिन उसके बाद तो वी आर अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट दैट वर्ल्ड बिकॉज सडनली वेन यू आर थ्रोन इन अ वर्ल्ड वेर यू डोंट बिलोंग उसमें एडजस्ट होते होते आप अपने बारे में बहुत कुछ जानते हो आप जब नाले के पास से गुजरते हो तो आप हमेशा ना कैसे ढक लेते हो आप बदबू yeah. नहीं सूंघना चाहते हो बट अगर आपको वहाँ रहना पड़े तो तब यू स्टार्ट एक्सेप्टिंग दैट दैट वर्ल्ड वी स्टार्ट एक्सेप्टिंग एज इंडिविजुअल्स यू नो वी स्टार्ट एक्सेप्टिंग दैट वर्ल्ड एंड That's what you've learned कि in life हम लोग ऊपर देख के चलते हैं ना कई बार नीचे देख कर हमें समझ में आता है कि कितनी जिंदगी सिर्फ यहाँ या यहाँ नहीं चल रही जिंदगी यहाँ भी है और वो जिंदगी और स्ट्रॉन्ग है और प्यारी है और खूबसूरत है and that's I think that that is our Fadu world and I'm just a part of that 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 complex world Ashini Ma'am has created. मतलब वो जाते जाते हमारे अभिलाष रिमेम्बर मीन टू वॉक आउट एंड इन ऑफ दैट लोकेशन ना बाय द एंड ऑफ इट लोग हमें जानते थे सो रोज सुबह हाय हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग होती थी रात को बाय होता था सो इट वाज वेरी वेरी सो इट वाजंट लाइक वी वर एक्टर्स इट हाँ इट वाजंट लाइक वी वर एक्टर्स शी वॉज अ डिरेक्टर इट फेड लाइक वी वर अ पार्ट ऑफ दैम एंड दे न्यू आज दूस टू दे अबे बाय गुड मॉर्निंग लाइक दैट एंड दूस टू वॉक ऑफ सो इट वॉज अ वेरी एक्चुअली द बस्ती वॉज अ बिग learning uh, for all yeah no yeah. not just learning it was a big treat to have right. in terms right. of getting our characters right so as actors and also as a filmmaker when you are saying yes to a script when you're hemming a script what are some of the things that you keep in mind like where do you draw the line what are some of the prince guiding principles that kind of govern you so it's very important uh, me as a maker to start thinking of uh, and i would also say a responsible maker to start thinking over the what are the kind of stories i want to say for the kind of times uh, in 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 which i'm going to be saying it because you you choose a story to say like 2 years back and does it still fold relevant for you to say it 2 years later so that is something which is uh, very important for me second thing i do feel that it is very important that we spend enough time on writing the screenplay because uh, half big screenplays do not do any justice to either uh, uh, the actors or to the production or to the director or to anyone on the set all the technicians is because uh, you you can you can be as confused and un, uh, not disciplined enough to know what is happening my stories have to be relevant and it has to make sure that it inspires aspires a younger generation of of a country uh, and it not necessarily needs to be uh, like a, a what drive whatever 
a very clean or uh, in terms of this thing you can have you can have characters or in, uh, characters who are complex uh, and also we stay in a very complex society with with human behavior which is very complex so there is nothing which is uh, very uh, uh, very black and white there is a lot of grays and it is important to also understand these characters and also talk about the changing generation of mm. human behavior mm -hmm. in society which is so rapid in terms of everything yeah. so that is very important thank you thank you thank so you. much thank for you so much. Much. all the best for your thank show thank you, thank you.